All right, hello and welcome to this very first playthrough of Ninja Gaiden 3, The Ancient Ship of Doom. And here we are, we made it. We're at, we're at the Ancient Ship of Doom. Uh, that's what it appears to be anyway, uh, except it doesn't look ancient at all. I don't know. It's Ninja Gaiden lore. Who gives a shit? Uh, we did six, Act 6 last time, now we're going to do Act 7. This is, I think, the last act in the game. So let's go ahead and, and reload the uh, cutscene. Um... I haven't watched this yet. What on earth is that? <clears throat> Something tells me it's the ancient ship of doom, Irene. And it looks like a, an evolved evil Pokemon. Do you understand the power of this dimensional warship? <clears throat> no, I do not at all. The new age is about to begin. <clears throat> Something or other. What? Oh! Alright. Oh, I hate going left or right. What did you what did you do with your sword? Your awesome sword, Ryu? So are those moving things not dangerous? Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Save every time you get an inch. I'm just going to start uh, reloading, taking a death and reloading when I get hit. Oh, I can do that? Oh, no. Okay, so I can, I can salvage that, but not probably without taking a hit, it looks like. Oh, I can... Okay, so hold on. Let me get out of this, and then I'll start counting the deaths again. That's normal one of these things right here. Don't do that. Okay, hold on, hold on. It might be too tall in order to try and get out of that. This is, this is what I get. This is... I don't, I don't get mad when that kind of thing happens because I understand that that's the that's the game I'm playing when I'm using when I'm doing. Um... Shit. When I'm uh... <clears throat> spam saving, I get it. <clears throat> Comes with the territory. You can't be mad if you have a shitty situation like that when you're spam saving. Because you're avoiding such a shittier situation, but it's still easily worth it. You know what isn't worth it though? This fucking stupid, horrible sword that I have to use now. do that. I 
I assumed he would hang on to the rail if I did that. I guess not. Isn't that thing supposed to stick around for a second after you throw it? Hey, I'll take it. Dude, please. I'd like that one thing, please. Can I have that one item that I've been trying to hit for a year? Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 okay. Fucking break, man. Like, seriously, give me a break. Like, I need a break from the garbage. Right from under me, huh? How am I gonna get away from that guy? Hit that. Don't hit that. You want you want what you have. What you have is gonna be better. Okay. Fucking dick hole. No, I didn't, because that guy hit me. Can I have that, please? Thank you! Oh, Jesus. I can't turn around that fast. The game doesn't allow me to do so. That was close. Oh shit. There, Nick. Alright, we're almost done with 7 1 A. Fuck you! Okay, 
so don't go up that way. Nope. Jesus Christ. You're gonna have to kill those fuckers one by one, Nick. They are going to hunt you down if you don't. Go ahead and take a second. Uh, if you're gonna go up there, you're gonna have to kill the fucking guy on the left first, which you are not going to have time to do with all these fucking guys out here. So just go ahead and fucking take a second, lure these guys into a singular spot, and kill them. No, god damn it, I don't want that ability. All these things, Nick. They are just gonna swarm you if you don't. Oh, God. Let me, let me go ahead and, um, this is 7-2-A. Oh god damn, I forgot about you. Let me hit the button well before that thing button touches me. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna need to. So here I'm gonna need to. God damn it. What did you hit me? There's a fucking environmental thing that takes half of your life as soon as you touch it? Eat me. I know that the death counter is going to be quite right because there's an issue. It's not an issue. It's, it's actually a feature of this uh, death counter where if you if you don't if you if it's less than five seconds when you hit the button again, it doesn't count. It. So there's probably said this is not going to be quite right. You know what? That's okay. Uh, how, am I going to be able to avoid that? Hold on, we're going to stop counting for a second because I can get around this motherfucker. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to stop counting for a second. Yeah, let me, let me see if I can get around this motherfucker. Uh... Boy, 
afraid it's gonna be tough. Okay, my fucking weapon. Did you see my weapon go right through him? Alright, deal. Oh, you know what, though? I really do. I could use this. Yeah, yeah, there we go. No, don't. That's why sometimes I sit here and wait, because I'm waiting for the timer to... Oh, shit, okay. Speaking of the timer... I need to be careful here. Oh, damn it. You don't want that. Yeah, I fucked up. Okay, hold on. Fuck you, you bitches. I guess I could do that. Sure. I didn't... Go away. Oh, there's little fucking... Go away, dude. How am I gonna do this? That's how you do it, but... It's gonna be hard. You can't do that jump without. Oh, for fricks. Are you gonna go or what? Thank you. You know what? If I'm fast enough, I could maybe do that. There's an extra man there. I really don't have time to sit and wait on this. Should I just fucking take it? Let's just take it. It's not a horrible ability. But what I have right now is better. Okay, but don't. Just wait. You're gonna have to wait anyway. Right? That's the idea. And if you wait, that guy goes away, which is nice, right? I can do this. Are you fucking kidding me? Really hard to pop in a save there, man. Are you fucking kidding me? It's gone from the screen, man! It's gone! Those, those electric fences hurt so bad that you cannot touch them. Even once you can't touch them. There's no way to fucking get this thing off my screen. That's a little too fast. Give it a second. Damn, dude. <laughs> Go the fuck away. <sighs> I 
I don't have time to wait for it again, another cycle. Oh, I almost had it! That is the answer, though. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. You're gonna have to do all that in one fucking move, Nick. Oh, fuck you. Did I just use my ability? Maybe. You got that, though. I've almost got it. And I need that extra life. I need as many as I can for the ends, because the ends gonna be some bullshit. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, the, the, the first game and the second game both did a thing where if you died fighting the final boss, you had to go back to the very beginning of the level. So... Oh, I hit the fucking thing. Give me a fucking break, dude! Oh my god. Forgot to jump. Fuck. Did I get the save in? Yes. Okay, okay, alright. You're gonna need to get that extra man though, bro, okay? I'm gonna need you to go ahead and do that for me. And then you're gonna have to land on this. Oh shit, okay. Don't forget to kill the guy first. Where's my body? Seven two C. I'm gonna look it up. How many fucking um How many fucking levels are there? Oh you know what? I don't need to look it up. I don't need to look it up. We're close. We're definitely close. I'm gonna go ahead and take the death. And restart it. Oh, I put delay, didn't I? Oh, fuck you. Okay, take a death. Don't jump! Don't jump! You jump here. But then you fall back down on the, on the, you go back down on the, you know how to do this, come on. You need that extra man. God damn it. If I had... Oh my god, I don't want to it. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever. We used a lot of our points, but we can probably get some of them back. <sighs> We're gonna go back to 72A, I think, if we die, so. Kind of okay. Oh, I got hit. Shit. 
combination to the weapon. 7-2-D? This has got to be it, right? Please, God, tell me there's not a 7-3. Oh, Alright, don't use your ability unless you have to, Nick, please. Okay? Yeah, we're gonna run out. Oh, damn it. Almost had it. God damn it. Take it. What is all this? What do you guys all want? Alright, hold on a second. I'll take the death there. Uh, let's just trigger this. Oh my god, that's a health potion? Okay, hold on a second. I'll take the death. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, I got hit. I'll take the death. I'll also take the death because I didn't mean to get that ability. I mean, it's kind. Of, I think fuck it, maybe. I think fuck it. I don't. I don't think I want it. I don't think I need it. Because now that I'm remembering how this all works at the end, it's not gonna matter how many lives we have. We need a full health bar. That's what we need. Oh, 73A. Oh, that's actually That's actually excellent news. So if we die, so there is a 73. I would never thought I'd be so happy to see 73. Yeah, we're going to run out of time. And there's another sword here. Okay, the game's actually taking mercy on us? I can't believe it. Okay, can't do that. Yeah, we're gonna run out of time. So, if we take the death... Um... It's like it's impossible to beat the game in one life. I know that's not true because I'm playing fairly slowly, I guess, but... That fills me all the way to the top. That's great. Oh, 
shit. Damn it. Oh shit. I I really ought to take these guys out, because it's easy. That's going to be tough. Uh, let's fucking oh, I forgot there's a fucking spike thing there. How the fuck am I going to do that? I'm going to have to... Fucking floor corrodes. Great. Just add it to the pile. How am I gonna do that? You're gonna need to take a second when you get up there. Remember that he's there. Alright, I got it. Okay. What the fucking hell, man? Jesus Christ! I can't fucking... had it. Okay, sword went right through him again. Sure. Sure, sure. Oh, God. No. I say, oh god, Nick, it's not really my fault. The game just decided it wasn't going to allow me to jump today. Tell me this is the end. Oh, for Christ's sake. Let's take the death. 
I mean, we still got full life pretty deep into this level. We need to hold on to this if we can. Oh, I thought I got through that. Good jump. Great jump. Good jumping. trying to fucking pop in a save, and I can't! I'm gonna have to get through all that shit in one go. So that part I don't understand. How can I possibly... How can I possibly avoid a hit there? Cause I, ca I gotta keep moving, the ground's coming apart under my feet. Of that? Okay. There's one spot over there. One spot, and you gotta hit it. Oh, God bless. Take it. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's take the death and see what we can do. That's not too bad. We got it. Should have saved it at that point. Oh, fuck you, you bastard ass. What are you doing? Just try it. Seven three D? Come on, man. Give me a break. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Seven three D? Oh yeah, don't when you get there, fucking remember. Up, man. You gotta... We're almost there. 
this, there can't be. Don't, there better. If there's a fucking E. That'd not be a fucking E. Here and see if there's a fucking E. That's it, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and take. I'm gonna assume that that guy's gonna fuck me up. If we can get, th we need to get through this without him getting hit to have a, a, a chance. How's the timer? It's good enough. Take the death. You got time, you got time. Jesus Christ, though. Come on, guys. How am I gonna get to get through that without getting hit? Oh, motherfucker. Ryu Hayabusa, you did well to get this far. Where is Clancy? C -c 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 Clancy? <laughs> You're Clancy. Well, that is Clancy. Okay, what's the next sentence? Correct. Look at this body full of super light power. Listen carefully, Ryu. I want to protect the Earth from humans. Humans are weak and disgusting little creatures who love to fight. You know they should be wiped out, don't you? No, man. Ryu, join me! I'll even let you bring a perfect human to ride the ship with us. Once the Earth is cleansed of humans, we can start a new world. I'll never join you, Clancy! No reason can ever excuse the destruction and slaughter of mankind! Clan the bad guy's name is Clancy? The only thing that's going to get destroyed is you and this dimensional warship! Did I just do it? Watch. Watch. There's gonna be some second round and I'm gonna have one pip and I'm gonna be fucked. So I'm not gonna save. Yep. Ah! So that's your real form. I might have known. Prepare to die, Clancy! <laughs> yeah, see, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna die. And where, where's it gonna take me? Back there. Fuck that, right? So we'll take the death, and we'll reload, and we'll just... And so we have to get through this without... I would say at least half health. We're just gonna have to take it all at one. All at one. Uh... Oh, we did something with that. Okay, so what? How am I... Not... I can't destroy those? Ugh. Literally, we're gonna have to do the whole... Take a hit, pause. Yeah, we're gonna have to fucking cheese the shit out of this. That's the only way. You 
can pause in the middle of a fight, right? Yeah. So, so this lightning, how do I avoid that? How can I possibly avoid that? Let's see if I can just focus on like trying to avoid his damage without worrying about doing damage. Are you going to ever try the electric shit again? Or are we done with that? Is that the only when I'm standing still thing? You're just not gonna do that now. Oh, he does it as a retaliation. Is that what it is? So, I'm gonna save my ability. How do I, how do I avoid taking that damage? You're gonna have to do better than that. You're gonna have to do better than that. this. And I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Yeah, don't do that. Now. So, okay, I got a question. So here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay into him immediately. And see if I can... There doesn't appear to be a way to dodge that. You have to be mid-run, no jumping. That's the only way. And if he touches you, it takes a third of your health. And you can't turn around like that. You gotta be running full sprint. So you can't sit and punish him like that. You hit him a couple of times and you go. Okay, you can turn around. And if he hits you three times, you're dead. This is gonna be hard. Alright. But, I'm starting to get a feel for some windows where I can avoid damage. Like that though. It's always three lightning strikes. If you can keep the pressure on, he won't even do the ball attack much. But you're not he, you're not allowed to get hit by that lightning strike more than maybe once. Hey, you're not allowed to do both, dude. If you're gonna turn around during that attack, you have to turn around right at the right second. There you go. This is gonna be hard, dude. What in the fucking drunk ass hitbox was that? Again? That didn't make any fucking sense. That did. What? We're gonna have to do this perfect. Well, maybe not perfect, but we're gonna have to at least start out perfect. Dude, why does he sometimes launch the ball out immediately? No, you can't stop like that, Nick. You gotta... You 
can't do that either. You're just gonna have to wait. You're just gonna have to be patient. Got a cheeky save in there. You see that? Oh, fuck. That would have been good if I hadn't fucking froze up. You're gonna have to hit him quick. Look. And then run, motherfucker. Run. hit you 50 times after that. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, bitch. This is ridiculous, can I just say? Yeah, so when he gets hit, he does the thing every fucking time, without, without exception. So... Cannot let him get any. If he gets anywhere near you, it will damage you. Should pop them a save there. It's just risky, you know. I don't know. This would be a bad place to. Because if I fucked this up and we had to go back to seven three, I don't know that I would have to go to do it. So we cannot fuck with the saves. Come on, Nick. Okay, that's good, but then you gotta get around him, dude. And then you have to actually, like, fucking hit him and shoot. Swing your sword in the direction of the enemy. Damn it. I really would like to just fucking fuck him up right there, you know, but that's not going to be good enough. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead. That might be good enough. Oh, well, it would have been. Nick, you gotta fucking... He's gonna melt your health bar. God damn it, what is that weak ass jump? But the, the death counter in this game is just not going to be perfect. That's just all there is to it. I was trying, I had my hand over the save button, I was trying to find the window. Damn it! I would have maybe been okay with the food button. Okay, new plan, new plan, new plan, new plan. Yeah, go straight for him here, dude. You could have had it if you kept running. Oh, fuck you, you bastard. best. I probably shouldn't have done that. Because you know why? I bet he has a third form.
but we can roast him. Where's my fucking character? I don't trust it. Is this the last one? It fucking better be. Finally! Oh no. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Ryu! Yeah, fuck me. Fuck this game. Fuck everything about this game. Fuck everybody involved with making this game. This is gonna be bad. Because you know, you die, you go straight back to go. Okay, so we've got to figure out a way to avoid that initial... If you stand right there, you can fucking... ...maybe get around us. Okay, so what, here's what we're gonna do. No. We gotta get through here, no damage. And you know what else we gotta do? I'm just realizing we need to we need to kill this guy without using our ability. It's gonna be fucking tough. I mean, he's throwing fastballs at me. I don't know how I'm gonna get around that. So if I... okay. There is a way, I see it. There is a way it can be done. I see it. I see the window. Right? But how do you fucking... juke that? There's no fucking way, dude. Jesus Christ. Right back to 7 3 fucking A. So, yeah, there's these, uh, these extra lives are worthless. I gotta figure out a way to dodge that. I got to figure out a way to dodge that, that fastball. Okay, it can be done. But we need to do it in a way... Can I have my character back, please? Where the fuck are you... Alright. Does it always curve that way? Okay, so I can lead it? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Fuck me, dude. Oh, no. I let him hit me and then I saved. <sighs> this, that just made things way fucking worse. Ah, uh, god, that's bad. That's real bad. How- where's the health bar at? <sighs> I can't take another hit. I'm not allowed to take another hit. Okay, so it's- it's only- it looks like there's only three spots the fastball goes. Down to the next pillar. Oh, record, down- uh, down to the- Platform, immediate platform, across to the other platform. And. We're gonna try, but this is not looking good. And I don't know if I have the fucking will. Yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. I can do this. Okay. Don't, uh, stop, don't try to save anymore mid-fight. Okay, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do this perfectly without getting hit. Or, shit, I don't know, man. Uh, okay, as soon as he does that, you're gonna need to look down. The one's coming off the floor, okay? <sighs> there you go, though. That's the right idea. That's the right idea. Okay, um... I have seven pips. I have to keep it that way. <sighs> I'm not. I'm. I'm recognize. I recognize that a lot of these deaths aren't adding. I don't care at this point. I'm doing my best. It, it would. You know. It would be so much more reasonable if the controls weren't absolute bullshit. Hit me. Fuck you. Turn around, Ryu! Fucking Christ! I'm really worried we may not be able to do this. Just take a breath and fucking. <sighs> I'm, uh, give me a second. Okay, I took a pause for about 10 minutes to put my kid to bed. 15 minutes. Um, I'm really worried here. I shouldn't have saved at all. The only way we would save again is if we can get through this entire fight without taking any more damage. This game is such horseshit. That even makes you do that. You, you have to play half of the level again. If, uh... The what the fuck? Controls weren't so poorly responsive. We're just gonna fucking... Okay, so it seems like he doesn't, um... That was interesting, he missed me entirely there. He doesn't throw it straight down unless you're straight down and you stay straight down. So like, whoa, what the fuck was that? And that's also interesting. Lock some. What? Oh. Have I unlocked something by just standing in the middle? Okay, wait a minute. I might be able to do something with that. Maybe just be a little bit more careful than that. That'll still hit you, so you're gonna have to move eventually. And you really shouldn't move at all from where you were. You might be able to jump, maybe, and avoid the damage. You can't jump to that point because he's gonna fucking hit you. So, yeah, the thing will hit you. Oh, 
Oh, now, what the hell? That second, that wasn't hitting me a second ago. That was interesting, though. Yeah, you're gonna have to move a little bit. You can't and you can't jump there, Nick. You can jump right after it. Actually, you know what? You shouldn't jump right after it. You should wait another second. Then jump here. How was I avoiding that damage before? And you're gonna have to move there. but you're going to have to wait until the last second. Okay. Oh, so many rules! Okay. We're really going to have to do this frame by fucking frame. Didn't manage to get a save in there. I need to be really careful with that, because... Yeah, and see... Did I take damage just now? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's so insidious sometimes, because it... It won't even really... It, sometimes he doesn't react. do this, I think. Remember, we say we saved there, you're gonna have to move there. Okay, so you've got a, a you've got a route now. You move too soon. You move too soon. He moved a little too soon still. Wait until he throws it. There you go. And then don't jump so high. This has got to be frame perfect. That's our only option. It's going to have to be frame perfect. Shit, we have a, we have a, we have a window in there. That was really risky. But we managed, I think... Did we get hit in there? Oh no, we did not! Where did we get hit? Oh, Nick. You shouldn't have done that. Now you're in real serious trouble. You, you, it might be best at this point to just go ahead and... Well, I'll tell you what. If you can kill him... If you can kill him without taking another hit... Which does seem possible. Just, but don't, you do not, you do not, you do not do, you do not do it again. What the fuck was that? You've never done this like that before. That's what we're gonna have to do, one hit at a time. Yeah, I shouldn't do it the whole fucking time. So you can't get two in there, Nick. I'm really tempted to try and get another one in there because 
You don't have to, Nick. You can do it. Just watch. Just watch. Oh, fuck you! Drunk-ass hitbox, bitch! No, nope, you can't. We're gonna have to figure out how to kill the final iteration of this guy without taking any damage. I understand that. So tempted. Stop, Nick, just stop it. We're just gonna need to concentrate. You can, you'll do this faster if you just fucking concentrate. They can't even get near you. It's fucking bullshit. If you jump, you're dead, Nick. You gotta wait. almost had it. Just pay attention. Okay, there are some times that you can jump and hit twice, but not there. Cheeky little bitch. You almost had it. Be patient. Be patient. I guess that hit me. What? what? Try again. Those are... Legit hits. I mean, they're not really. I mean, this hitbox is all fucked up, too. But that's the only way I'm gonna win this. Don't do that, Nick. Don't do that. Fuck. Frame perfect, baby. Damn it. He doesn't usually do that. I missed. That one, that time, it, that when you're right there, it'll come up right under you, man. get an extra hit in. It's not gonna be... It'll be there, not the fucking... Oh, shit. Okay, you almost had it. You almost had it. There go. Why, why is that not working now? Don't get up there. That's suicide. Damn it! You're so close, dude. Now the question is gonna be whether he can fucking take the guy after this full pits of hell. And that is a big fucking question. 
Uh, the answer is almost certainly no. That is what's gonna happen if I try and save, is I'm gonna get hit by that fucking one that's not really touching me, but it looks kinda like it's close. That one right there. You can kinda move out of its way, but... Damn it, I was close. Gotta be frame perfect. And you can do that. Look at this. You're doing good. Oh, you fucking bitch. I have hope. I have hope that I can do this. we can with that. <laughs> um, finally, yeah, yeah, right. We can skip this. Now, let's see if we can at least figure out your deal. Okay, so you've got... Okay, so the question is... Alright, so before I even start using my super, because... Uh, here, let's... Uh, save there. Right Before we start using the super, can I kill those projectiles? No. I'm gonna have to jump them, it looks like. Which is doable. I'm not doing damage. So it's 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 firing shit off that's not even on the screen. See that? Oh, and that hurt me, even though I didn't recoil. So does it have a weak spot of some kind? All right, here's here's the new plan. We're not even gonna try and hit it. This is just going to be about dodging. Dodging is doable. Oh, you fucking asshole. Is dodging doable? So we've got two things here. We've got the fucking laser. Not even trying to damage right now. That's not even what we're trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out the moves, the dodge, the, the move, the dodgeable move set. Oh fuck you! That's horse shit. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Do I need to be closer? That's fucking absolute garbage. Give me a fucking break. 
so that's not reflectable. Every other fucking projectile in the whole game is. Okay, I'm gonna I have to figure out how to get around that. Yeah, you gotta jump forward. And then you gotta fucking figure out how to get around that? That laser can't get anywhere near you. You gotta, you gotta be up in this fucking grill. If you should've stayed down, you would've been able to escape that. Jesus Christ, That's how you do it. How in the fucking hell, man? Got a little light hops. Little light, little light hops. You can't control the height of the jump, of course, in this game. That would be that would be too uh, too much control. Just trying to get the move set down. Not all day, Nick. If you stay back. Here's, you know. That laser has your fucking your goose is cooked, dude. Wait, it changed its fucking. It's changed its uh, the way that it attacks based on my attack. I guess I should come as no surprise. The question now is how do I actually damage it? It doesn't appear to be damageable. It must oh oh you know what? I have a guess. That that glass needs to break or something. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot base your jumps on when you want to attack, Nick. The only way you're going to be able to base your jumps is on when the motherfucker is attacking. That is the only time. And you can't get that close, dude. It's probably a thing where after you hit it a certain number of times, it becomes vulnerable and then you can start doing damage. But it does change things if you... There's no way you're going to be able to figure out how this thing ends by trying to just tank it, Nick. So stop it. Damn it. Let's try to blast this. Got more aggressive, didn't he? He went a little lower.
we got several good hits in there. And, uh... Okay, so wait a minute, though. You gonna do two in a row? Like that? Oh, and two lasers in a row. So does that mean we're making progress? The angle of the laser seems to have changed, too. Are we seeing any any damage? I don't think so, right? We're not seeing like any damage that's happening as a result of the fucking. All right, this is starting to feel a little bit more doable, except for the fact that he's not actually taking damage. But it's making the noise, the damage noise. So I have to. Because it makes the clink 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 sound sometimes too. And that, I understand that that's a oh, you hit something that can't get hurt. I get it. But. need to stop playing with fire, Nick. Alright, let's see if we can save and get out of that, right? Lasers are coming in low. Oh, shit. Just if if he hits you, fuck it. Just keep going until you die. You need the practice anyway. Fuck. Aha! Okay, now he starts a new move set. We got this. We can do this. We can do this. Question. If he's gonna blast you at front front right in the face with those lasers at that point. Then. So are you uh Ooh, some of those lasers come in real low. Ah, fuck you. Oh no, the timer! I didn't even think about the fucking timer! Oh no. Oh no, that's bad. Um... The fucking timer? Are you serious? Is the timer gonna be what fucks us? Please don't make me rush. We have to get kill this guy in 18 fucking seconds. That might have sealed our doom. It's one thing to We can do this. We can do it. We just have to be fucking perfect. And aggressive. Okay. 
Okay, where did we... How did, how did we end there? Okay. The fucking... Um... Okay, yeah, you can't rush in... I wonder if the fucking... <sighs> I think we can do this. Close, motherfucker. He stops when you hit him. He, it stun locks him. You can't. You can't get that far forward, Nick. You gotta. Uh, you gotta give him a little bit of. Well, not that much space. He's gonna get hit by that guy. Okay. Alright, you might have to wait till the next cycle. There you go. It's better to fucking... That was close. You can't fucking... Yeah. There is a... There is a spot. There, you, there it is. The spot. All right, I got this. That's too far in, Nick. What hit me that time? We are fucking. This is down to the wire. Yeah, you can't do that, Nick. Come on. This better be it. Yeah, you can't touch him. You're gonna have to. You got. You've gotten in a couple times. Oh shit. That's the. That's the move right there. You know what? Fuck your ability. You're doing the damage faster with the fucking. Yes! Fuck yes! Did I actually kill this motherfucker? Please. Please let this be the end of the game. Please, God. If not, I'm gonna probably... Sh I'm gonna shut the game off, probably. This bet, this needs to be it, okay? Three phases is enough. If I swear to God, if it throws me into another battle and I've got one... How far I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I beat this game anyway just so I can rank it at the very bottom ever under Gollum. Not really. Okay, that looks pretty final. That looks pretty final. Please God, please God, please God, please God. I can't I can't do anymore. I can't do anymore. I can't do anymore, man. <laughs> This is the end of Clancy. <laughs> Clancy. <laughs> the fucking boss Clancy. And Foster and their sinister plan. I'll never understand why people make and pursue evil plans until they wind up dead. Yeah, it's probably not as simple as that, Irene, but, you know, I, I, I like where your heart's at. Humans are always striving to achieve. See, Ryu knows. All of creatures living on Earth, in all worlds, can never be just a part of someone's plans. Very well said. 
Unfortunately, mankind is never foolish enough to wipe itself out to achieve some ambition. Not yet. <sighs> Not yet, Ryu. Being with you again like this makes me want to thank all the living beings in this world. Go to town. That's my one de that's your one desire? A new day is about to begin. I think we did it. I think we actually fucking somehow managed to pull that out. <sighs> Can you imagine trying to do that legitimately? Can you imagine? It would probably take... I don't know... 500 hours? That feels like a conservative estimate. Oh my god, I can't believe we actually did it. That's credits, baby. <sighs> okay. <sighs> first things first. The, uh, oh, it's gonna stop when I'm do to move over to this, isn't it? Okay. Well, we'll let it pause for a second, and we'll say, first things first, the bottom center of the screen says that we've beaten 22 games in 2024 and 469 since we started doing this in 2020. Uh, those numbers are wrong. Now, we have now beaten 23 games in 2024, and 470 since we started doing this in 2020. Did I say that right? I don't even know. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, like, delirious after this game. All right, let's talk, oh, here, go ahead and... Let's talk about Ninja Gaiden 3. So, I think that so a lot of Nintendo games are overvalued because of nostalgia. I've done it myself a few times. Um, but I don't do it as much as most people. A, because I haven't played as many of those games, and B, because I, I, think, that, I think that I've played enough now that I'm a little better at seeing through that, maybe a little bit. Um, but so a lot of these NES games are, are, are overvalued, I think, as far as their objective value. Uh, now, that's not to say that to take anything away from the, the importance of the games at the time and the way that they innovated and such. Um, and I think some retain their value. I think some of the Mario games retain their value, like they're just as good. Um, even if you don't consider all the, you know, industry importance and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> I'd say, like, the top end of that is, like, Mar the original Mario trilogy and, like, some of those games. Uh, some of those older Mario games is, like, the top. That's about as good as it gets for these older NES games. And I'd say the very, very bottom of that is Ninja Gaiden. <clears throat> I think these are... I think the only things... There's only two things about these games that I think are potentially actually good. Well, let's say, let's actually, let's take it to three things. There are three things about this game that are actually valuable today. One is purely nostalgia driven. So that's not actual value, but it's value that people have in their hearts for these games. That's one. I don't give a shit about that. That actually makes it difficult to rank some of these games because people get all up in arms. So that's a great game. No, it's not. You probably haven't played it in 20 years. And even if you have, you're thinking about when you played it when you were six and how much it blew your mind, right? Great, great. But that's not important to me. I'm so sorry. Uh, the second thing is the art style and music. Now those, and these are the things that really shine about Ninja Gaiden and about a lot of, and, and a lot of games from this era is the pixel, the retro pixel art style in its genuine form is gorgeous. And the music is gorgeous. And I imagine that this is probably... I think I remember even the original Ninja Gaiden seeing the cutscenes in them and being like, this is cutting edge. Like, this was as... It was gorgeous at the time, and it's still gorgeous. It holds up very well. Um, the fact that there are new games coming out that are trying to emulate specifically, I think, Ninja Gaiden art style is uh, just goes to show that that it has stood the test of time. They are 
They're over 30 years old now, and they still look gorgeous. And they sound gorgeous. So that part, legit, right? And whatever value this game has, I think a large part of it comes from the design, the sound design and the art design. The third component that, that would be something that is of value is its, its actual um, innovation in gameplay. And that's harder for me to gauge because I don't know whether this was the first to do certain things or, or whatever. But the actual gameplay where you like, you have to use your sword to hit a thing and it gives you an ability and you can change your abilities on the fly by picking up other things and you have an energy bar. You basically have an MP meter in this game. Um, I know it's not the first to do that because like Zelda exists. Well, I don't know if Zelda had that. I don't think Zelda did, but maybe Zelda 2 did. I don't know. Anyway, it's probably not the first to have an MP bar, which is basically what it is, an energy bar. <clears throat> but it's up there, you know, it's an early form of that. And uh, and this, just the way that you can use abilities while you're hanging on a wall and the way the boss fights work, you know, that's probably very influential went on to be very influential because this is a storied and celebrated series and people have probably riffed off it a bunch the gaming landscape probably wouldn't look exactly the same without the gameplay that was here in the original ninja gaiden trilogy right but here's the problem all that stuff that I just said is great, but the actual gameplay in this game, and I'm sorry to say it, but it is objectively bad. And it's not just because it's hard. Yes, this game is ridiculously hard. Yes, I just racked up the second highest death count I've ever had in a video game. Yes, I've done all those. Yes, all that is true. But uh, the, the, the other two highest that I've had, which is Super Mario Lost Levels and Celeste... Those games are fucking amazing, and I love them. Even even a retro game like Lost Levels, I love. Because they're hard, but they are not janky. Um, even Lost Levels, which is older than this game, quite a bit older, um, the platforming is clean and precise, and it's pixel, it's frame perfect. Uh, it, it's... Uh, it's got its it's got its quirks maybe but it it really is very precise. When you die in lost levels, you know why. You know how you messed up, you know what you can do to fix it or you at least have an idea, right? You 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 know that it's not because the game just fucked you or because the hitboxes were messed up or because the there's too many sprites on the screen and everything's all fucking up. Um or because you hit the, there's an in, significant input delay. None of that stuff is really true with Mario. It's it 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 is it is a well oiled machine. All of them, all of the original NES games. Now that I've played all of the original mainline platformers, I can say that they all are very clean, and they're all older than this. <laughs> so this game really has. This is a 1991 release. So uh, this is uh, encroaching on the SNES era. Um, and the platforming in this game is absolute crap. It, it, it is horrible. The, and it's not, it's not just the emulator because I played Ninja Garden one on the switch and it is exactly the same. So you cannot blame like, Oh, it's the controller or you playing on PC or whatever. It's not that this game is crap when it comes to input delay Hitboxes of enemies and yourself, um, uh, missing jumps when you shouldn't, making jumps when you shouldn't, honestly, hitting bosses when you shouldn't, not hitting bosses when you should, your sword just going right through enemies and then them hitting you. It is a, it's not just a thing that happens a lot. It is, I mean, it's literally every time you swing your weapon, it's, it's, it is the game. That's what the game is. That's the real challenge of this game, is to try and get through it, even considering there are so many factors involved that you have no control over. You know? In a so good Souls-like or in Lost Levels, yeah, there's the odds are stacked against you. But you're, you have... There's nothing... There's no variable that's going to come out of the left field and just fuck you up. Now, that being said, I'm sure there are some speedrunners out there that know every quirk of this game, that know every little nuance of how everything is broken, and can beat it 
anyway, probably. I don't know that for sure, but I imagine it's true. Uh, but the only way to be able to do that is to f have a deep, deep understanding of all of the glitches, bugs, and breaks, right? You shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to do that to be good at a game. Um, the rules are unclear all constantly as far as how close something has to be to hit you, how close you have to be to something to hit it, how high or low you have to be, whether you can hit a projectile away or not. It, it, is, it is all over the place. And every game in this trilogy has been that way. And I have hated every one. And I think this one might be the worst one. And I'll tell you why. It's not because of the end boss, because the end boss is that this is the way it is with every game, with, ev or with all three of the games so far. If you die to that final boss, you are going back to a mid part of the level and you've got to fight your way back. To I don't know how. I, can, I honestly, you, I mean, it must take hundreds of hours for somebody to get good enough at this game to consistently be able to beat it fairly. Hundreds, hundreds of hours. I spam saved like a motherfucker through this game. And that is the only way that any reasonable person that's going to spend less than 100 hours on this game can do it. I, 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 I challenge anyone to try in their first 50 attempts to beat this game. That's actually really conservative. They probably can't. It probably takes hundreds of attempts to actually get all the way through the game without running out of lives. Especially considering the final boss. And the final boss is the same way it is in every one of these games where there's multiple phases and if you lose any one of them and they eat every time it hits you, it takes a third of your life away. And if you and if if you if you die at any point, you're going back to the midpoint of the level and the level is freaking really hard because it's the last level. And there are like seven things on the screen all at the same time. And the rules surrounding each one of them are all fucking over the place. Uh, so, so, I mean, literally it's, and it's, it's, it's never been as clear to me as when I'm, I'm, I, I usually don't spam save this hard, even with retro games, like lost levels. I'll, I'll save, I'll put in a save state once I die or once I get to the first level. So if I die, I can start the level over, but I'm not getting hit or losing my mushroom and reloading and getting hit and reloading and making one jump and reloading in those games. I try to keep it as clean as I can. In this game, you just can't do that. I would have to, I would jump over one enemy and I'm like, okay, I'm going to save because I didn't get hit that time. And I've done that jump 30 times. And I get hit 29 of them, right? It's, I don't know how you could, I would love to see somebody try to do that without spam saving like that in their first like 50, 7,500 attempts at playing this game. I, I don't think even the best gamers could do it. Bec and I'll tell you why, because it's not really about how good you are. It you, you, doesn't matter how good of a gamer you are, you are not going to come into this game understanding the nuances of the jank. You have to, it is a trial and error thing. So, um, I think that when I played Ninja Gaiden 2, I said that the developers should be ashamed of themselves. And I mean that. I, I really do, because it's like they knew that their game was really jank. And you know, whatever. There's a lot of games that are janky in NES that are still important, and there's a lot of good things about this game, even like when it comes to art design and stuff. But it, it's like they leaned into it. It's like they're like, uh, we know that it's so hard, that it's unreasonably difficult and broken, and we're going to take these five enemies that are on the screen that are all broken, we're going to add two more. Just because fuck you. Yeah, I mean, seriously, it is beyond uh, unreasonable. Um, and I think this is actually the worst one. And I'll tell you why. It's Like I said, it's not because of the bosses. Um, it's not because of the overall d difficulty um, per se. It's because I think this one is the jankiest. The, um, the weapon upgrades are cool, but they are hit or miss as to whether your sword will go through an enemy or actually hit it. Uh, more than ever, it's harder than ever to actually hit a power-up and actually get it. <laughs> or do this thing where you're, like, poking at it with your sword and trying to hit it, and you just can't. And I'm seriously, like, I'm serious, like, the sword is going right through the middle of the power-up, and you're just not... It's not hitting it. <laughs> you're just not knocking it down. Uh, 
and, the, and that that's that is so frustrating. I barely, barely, barely made it through this game. There was a time toward the end that I thought I might have to give up on the whole thing. Um, and even considering that I was cheating left and right, um, I, I think this is an objectively bad game. I think that it's poorly made. I don't really know of a nicer way to say that. It's broken. It's like if you give someone a car and it's brand new, but it's like one of those, like, what was that? Uh, it's like a Daewoo or what? It's like, it's, it's like there are just certain cars that are just not like a Pinto. It's like, hey, here's a brand new 1987 Pinto, never been driven. Well, that's great, man, but there's like five things broken on it that are going to break in the first 5,000 miles. Like, it's a poorly made vehicle because it's broken. This is a poorly made game because it's broken. And they they probably were trying to meet some kind of a deadline to rush it out, and they didn't have time to fix all the brakes. And this, and, and this game... And and the first game came out and people loved it anyway. And then they were prob- they were like, "Well, shit, why even bother spending all the time and the money trying to fix all this stuff? People are going to love the game. They're going to play it anyway." It's not like they're trying to get quarters out of us because this is a NES made game. But I know there's an arcade version or whatever. But not this 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 is an NES game, and they knew that when they made it, and they still made it like they were trying to rob us, and they are. They're trying to rob us of our time. And I think I said something in my last review for Ninja Gaiden 2. It's like, can you imagine being a little kid getting this game on Christmas morning? And you think, oh, you know, what a wonderful gift. It's a curse. It's a freaking curse. Now, if you're 7 years old, 10 years old, 12 years old, and you get this game, and it's one of two NES, three NES games you have, and you want to pour 150 hours in it and beat it, good for you. Good for you. But that does not make the game good. That makes you good. It doesn't make the game good. The game is bad. The actual gameplay is is objectively bad. It's just so broken. I'm not going to say any more about it because I, I think I've made my point. But but um, I think my, my opinion is that the Ninja Gaiden original trilogy is a bad set of games when it comes to actual gameplay. They're still important in certain ways, especially with the art design and the music. And, and they, there's, there's still value there. But the actual gameplay, moment-to-moment gameplay, is bad. It's not good. It never has been. I'm hoping that now that I've beaten the original trilogy, I can move on to the Xbox franchise. And, uh, you know, I've heard those are hard, too. But there's no fucking way they're harder than this. Because I think people have actually beaten that game. <laughs> so, uh... And like like a significant number of people, I, I guarantee you, I'm not going to have as much trouble with those games as these, because these games are virtually impossible to beat. I mean, I'm I'm probably a me- even even going through and playing it the way that I did. I'm probably it's still super hard. It's still incredibly hard. I mean, I made it by the skin of my teeth, doing it the way that I did with constant spam saving. I'm probably and the only reason I have the the willpower to finish is because I want to rank it and bury it. I want to, I can't give this game what it deserves unless I best it. Right. And so, uh, I'm probably a member of a very exclusive club. There probably aren't that many people that have played this game that have actually beaten it because even with spam saving, it is so incredibly difficult. You know what else is like that? Punch out. You know why punch out's an amazing game? Because of all the stuff I said about lost levels. I had to spam save to kill Mike Tyson or who, Mr. Dream or whoever the last guy is on the Switch, too. And that's one of the other very few games that I had to do that in order to beat it. But I love that game. I fucking love it. Because guess what? That game isn't broken at all. It is perfect. It is well made. It is... It, you can... You can... If you're good at, against Mike Tyson or Mr. Dream or whoever, you can beat that guy every time. I can't, because I'm not that good at it. But, but that game has my respect. This game has my respect with the art design and the music. It does not have my respect with the gameplay. Quite the opposite. All right, I'll shut up. That's it for Ninja Gaiden. Normally, this would be the part of the video where I would say, all right, Ninja Gaiden, it's been fun, but we're now going to delete you from our console and never play you again. But I'm playing this on our emulator. There's no point in even going through, bothering going through that. So I'm just going to say, Ninja Gaiden, fuck you. Have a nice life. Good riddance. Looking forward to the next one. I'll see you later.
but thank you for existing because I, I do like your art style and your uh, music. Okay, that's it for Ninja Gaiden 3. We did it somehow. Uh, I am going to, uh, before the end of the video, just a really brief roadmap for the next few days. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to take a day off. Tomorrow's December 28th, or I'm sorry, February 28th, 2024. I'm going to take a day off. I'm going to get all the content ready for this and for Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which I beat this morning. And uh, just take a day and get all that ready and get ready for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that comes out on the 29th in two days. So, uh, and then after that, we'll have Outlast Trials, High Water Alone in the Dark, Dragon's Dogma 2, Rise of the Woman. We're going to have a busy march. So, looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. All right, that's it. If you're still here and you watch the whole video, or even if you watch the very end of it, thank you. I appreciate you. I will see you on the next one, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.